Okay, so what I've done so far, I have a three-page website. I've created a CSS page for it, and I have a header, I have a nav bar. Now I want to create a little bit of an area for content, a content area, and a footer. So let's go to it. I'm going to start really on any page, and then I can go in and add these other two elements on page two and page three. And I'm going to create a content area first. So I'm going to come on in, insert div tag, and I'm going to say after tag, it will come after nav bar. It's going to be an ID because there's going to be one of these. I'm going to name it content area. Content is perfect. I'm going to give it like so, hashtag content, because there'll only be one on each page. I'm going to make sure that it's attached to test site CSS. I'm going to hit OK. I am going to give it a color just so I can see it. Again, what I'm doing in this set of videos is really just looking at how do you go about creating the structure. I'm going to give it a width. I'm going to give it a width of 50, let's go up a little higher. I'm going to give it a width of 2000 pixels and I'm going to give it a height. Let's give it a height of, I could set it at auto. When you set it at auto, it will just get bigger depending upon the content. So that's pretty awesome. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to put it in at like 800 pixels and again you can add to that as you move through. So for the margins let's add some padding. I'm going to add padding of 40 pixels and for the margin I want to set top, let's put the top at 15. The right I'm going to set it at auto and the left at auto so it will center itself and the bottom I'll put it at 10. I think that's it. I'm going to hit OK. Now, I could also come in, I could set the type. So there's a lot of other options in here. Again, in this set of videos, I'm just really focusing on the boxes. I'm going to hit OK. Now I have this. All right, let's also add in a footer. Yet again, another div tag. And I'm going to come after tag. Now, this is the story too. There also is a uh, HTML code for footer. You can still do it with a div tag if you'd like to. So I'm going to just come on in. I'm going to say after tag and I'm going to say after content. I'm going to say footer. I'm going to give it a new CSS rule and I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to give it a background color just to see it. Uh, we can make a box for this. We can make the width 2000, the height 50. Uh, and we'll give it 10 padding and we will set the top margin. The padding is inside of the box and the margin is the area outside of the box. Again, setting it to auto. When we set it to auto, it centers itself. Um, it centers itself. Okay, so I'm going to put the bottom at auto too. I'll hit OK. And there we have it. We hit OK. And we should have them all. Let me pull this on down. Let's take a look, see what this looks like in our code view as well. I'm going to close this guy up, drag this on down, and I'm going to hit File, Save All. Let's view it out on the web. So we're going to come on in here and we're going to say Real-Time Preview. I'm going to view it in Google Chrome. Zoom in a little bit. And I can see that what I have here is I have a header, I have a nav bar, I have a content area, I have a footer section as well. Okay, let's take a look. How do we add it to our other pages? We come to Dreamweaver and I can zoom in a little bit even with Dreamweaver so I can see it all a little bit better. I can see my CSS. Let's take a quick look at the CSS. Let's go to our code view. We can see these different rules that we have written. Again, we can go right in and work right in code. Let's go to our source code. Let's see what we have here. We have our footer, we have our main header, our nav bar, our content, and our footer. And I can see that all of these are inside the body tag. Again, the body tag is, um, you know, the main, this is what we see on our page. Okay. Now what's interesting when I come to page two and page three, I haven't done these ones yet. So we'll go through and put those back in. I'm going to come in, in to design view 
And if I want to change things up, I can as well. As I look at this, I'm thinking, wow, you know, in order to work with everything else, it totally needs to be wider. So actually, let me go through and change this inside of test site CSS. Let's go to the code. Let's look at navbar. We compare navbars width to everyone else's. I'm going to make these a little bit more uniform. So I'm going to change this one to 1500. I'm going to change this one. Let's change them all to 1500. So it becomes more of a uniform kind of thing. Uh, the content, I don't mind the content being a little bit bigger. Um, I'll change the footer to 1500 as well. And I'm going to come to File, Save All. Now let's go on back to the design view. And let's see, it should work. All right, let's view it. File, Save All. Let's view it. It should be, um, it, it should work, but let's see what's happening here. Let's go to real-time preview in Google Chrome. Now, sometimes up oh, and there it is. We have it. It is working. Okay. It is working. Now, when I come to page two, I can see that it's changed as well. So what's amazing about working with CSS is you change it in one place. It changes in all. Let's change it one more time. Let's come on into Dreamweaver and let's come to our source code. Let's come to our um, test site CSS. Let's go on into code view and let's actually change the 2000 to 1500 too. And again, probably I'd make them all at 2000. I think that would be better. So I'll come file, save all, come on back to design view. And there we have it. They're lining up a little better. Now, they're a little bit off uh, just because of the padding. And uh, once we go and preview it in the web, we can really see what it looks like. All right, let's insert the content area and the footer to our other two pages. Super easy. We come on in. We grab our div tag. We say after tag. We're going to put it after our nav bar. And we're going to add a content area. We're going to hit OK. We're going to insert another one, div tag. We're going to say after tag, after content. We're going to name it footer, hit OK. We're going to come to page three and we're going to do the same thing. Now, I could also do something else. Again, there's so many different ways to do the same thing. Let's go to code view. Let's go to our source code. And I'm going to just copy these two lines of code. I want to add in a div for the content area line 12 and I'm also going to copy line 13 should be able to copy two lines of code at a time let's see what we can do line 12 and line 13 edit copy let's go to page 3 let's go to code view and let's add it on in I'm gonna come on in here hit return return come on up in here and paste. File, save all. Let's go to this back to design view. Let's go to page two, design. And let's go to page three, change from live to design. Design. And there we have it. They're all working beautifully. Let's save them all. And let's do one more look on the wild, wild web. So we come to real-time preview, Google Chrome. Wonderful, we have page one, page two, page three. I know that I'm changing because I see untitled document here, page two, page three. Now, how do I change page one from untitled document? Super easy. I come on in here. I come back to my index page and I want to actually put this information in the head. So one more time, I'm going to go to code view and I want the source code, not the CSS. I'm looking at the CSS. I want the HTML code and where it says untitled document, I can change this right in here and I'm going to write P P ah, page one. One more time, file, save all. We're going to view it one last time inside of Google Chrome. And I have page one, page two, page three. 
Thanks so much for listening.